This robotic vacuum has some sweet features to it. Thank you guys for joining me. This is Chris. I'm back with you with another unboxing and review video. We're going to go ahead and go through the key features of it. We're going to test it. We're going to do all that in this video. And this is the Oso robotic vacuum. The direct link for this is going to be in the description box below the video. You guys in the UK, if they sell it in the UK, I will have you linked as well. If not one, very similar to it. We're running a 30 watt system, working voltage 14.8 volt. It has a 3200 milliamp battery and it has a lithium battery. So let's see what we have in the box here. We're going to be showing you obviously the key stuff, but we're going to be running through the box pretty quickly. We don't want me making this video too long. Inside the box here, we have our user guide. And this thing is nice and quiet with a 2000 PA. And we have a 110 minute runtime. It's remote controlled and app controlled. And right off the bat, my first impressions, we do need to remove these little bumper guards here as well before we do get started. It actually has a nice clean design to it. As you can see there, it's a very nice texture to it there. And this of course is touch panel here. You have your camera here as well. Your front bumper here. On the bottom of course, you're charging here your pivoting wheels, your brush here, which is easily removable to detach any tangle hair, pet hair. And we do have our compartment right in the back right here, which we open up and we're gonna have our filter right up here at the top. That latches back up and you have your bin right here. Here is our charging dock here. It does have some pads, so it doesn't slip on you. Those are actually very nice there. And you plug in the charging cable into the side of the charging dock here which goes out to your outlet. You do have two brushes for the left-hand side and the right-hand side of underneath the robotic vacuum. And these are great being able to sweep out from underneath your furniture into the dustbin of the robotic vacuum. You do have a remote control if you don't wanna use it over the app and they do give you batteries with that as well. So that's very nice, two AAA batteries. Coming here, we have a little Phillips screwdriver and then we also have a nice little brush comb here being able to pick out if you have hair stuck anywhere, a little tool there to help you. And here is our power cable for the charging dock here. If you are wondering, that is a guesstimation five foot cable. The brushes are labeled left and right, so go ahead and put them on appropriately. Now inside the bag here where the start guide was, there are two very small Phillips screws. These are gonna go into the brush heads. So use your provided screwdriver they did give you and go ahead and screw on your brush head. Once the brush heads slip over the top, then you just tighten down your screw and that's not gonna come off. And we did see this briefly, but this is great. Again, the brush top folds right up there like I just showed you. The brush actually removes very easily and then just inserts very easily back into play, locking that down right there and you're back up ready to go. And what's nice about this, this is a low profile three inch design to be able to get underneath your low profile furniture to be able to clean properly, that's great. And it has three speeds, of course, low, medium, and high. Okay, and what's nice is that this has a speaker on it, so I haven't flipped the power switch on the side yet right here, and it is actually telling me, it repeated it a few times that I needed to flip on the power switch to be able to charge it. So, we have our charging dock all set up, so now I need to flip on the switch here. Start charging. Nice, as you heard that, it's starting to charge here. And we have our little slow pulsing blue LED light. A Little bit hard to see with the camera light there, but we can see it a little bit there as it is charging. All right, a little tip for you here. When you are connecting it to the app, read the instructions. I missed this little portion right up here and I was trying to connect it through the app and I was like, okay, it's not connecting. I've tried a couple times now. What you wanna do is after you enter your password information, you wanna go ahead and again, read these directions here, hold down the home button and it will say network connecting. And this will start flashing here, kind of like it here with the Wi-Fi signal here and then it's able to connect through the app. That'll save you a few minutes of trouble. So we'll look at the app, but right now it's using the camera to map out my house, my office area here, and it senses this. And when I first actually started in the app, I just, it's on auto right now, and it's on the medium suction as well. And it actually said indoor environment detected. So it's very highly intelligent as it just cruises right over here. And it'll go ahead and just bump into that slightly. And since that, and what's nice about these brushes, again, we'll get some better shots of this, but when it comes around the edges here, the brushes are gonna sweep. That's where all the dust, that's where the cobwebs come up in my house right here. I can't stand the cobwebs. And the cobwebs get up right against the baseboards. So watch it go ahead and just, just slightly tug right into that. And then it just turns around. And again, it's in auto mode here 
we'll look at the app a little bit more closely, but first impressions, again, it's looking really good. It has crossed over my threshold, and even with a little bit of a lip, it went right over. And then really light ones, I would pick those up out of the way. It's just gonna bump into this one. It won't suck that one underneath. So if you have bathroom rugs, if you have shower mats that aren't heavy, let's go ahead and see what happens here. Just nestles up against it, bumping right into it. The brushes are going underneath, sweeping up the dust. That's fantastic. All right, it just passed underneath my desk here and that's fantastic. You do have to watch the cords there. I do have a cord that I probably shouldn't get out of the way there. It just kind of bumped into that cord there, but this is fantastic cleaning underneath my computer desk, around my computer. I rarely clean under there. I did notice some dust, so that's a great feature as I'm working here. It literally came right in, bumped my chair, and then went back over there. So if you do need to clean like this area right over here and your office chairs right here, just scoot out of the way and it'll kind of come in right here and get all that dust up. All right, a great feature to it. Once it hit 10% battery life remaining, I've been using it on medium the whole entire time, medium suction, and it actually spoke out loud, battery low, and it worked its way back and it docked itself and now it is charging. So that is a great feature as well there. I believe the 110 minute runtime would be on the lowest suction. So obviously that battery will drain the higher you get. So if you use high suction, that's gonna be cut down in battery lifetime. But I had that running a long time on medium suction and it is now, again, 10% recharging here, self-docking itself. Let me show you something here. So this is great for the low profile design. It was actually underneath this right here, which is absolutely fantastic. As you can see, it does have some cobwebs that attach to the top a little bit, but what we'll do, because the brushes couldn't get overhead because the cobwebs were up under there, but that is great. I have not been able to vacuum under there and the low profile design was able to just go straight under there. Being able to clean under couches that have a lip high enough, as you can see there, it twirled back around. It'll get a little confused and then it'll go ahead and back up so it doesn't run on top of your stool right here as it works its way around there with the brushes. Let's go ahead and see if it goes underneath here again. There we go. All right. Very nice. Underneath there. Oh, that's fantastic. <laughs> I like that, baby. All right, so let's say you don't have the remote and you just don't want to fiddle with your phone. Go ahead and hit this one time here. Then we'll go ahead and pause that. And then we lift it up and I don't want it in that room anymore. I want to put it in the kitchen because let's say I'm filming something and I want it a little bit more quieter. Let's go ahead and hit that button one more time and cleaning continues. All right, after a few sessions, I'm very curious to see how full this trap bin is. So let's go ahead and pull it out. I'm right here with you and let's go ahead and see. Let's go ahead and get this over the wow. That thing is packed to the McGillicuddy's. All right, let's get this thing over the trash can and take a closer look. Wowzers. That is looking absolutely fantastic here. So you would use your brush if you wanna you know, brush off some of these corner areas there. But let's go ahead and carefully dump this so we don't get too much dust kicked up in the air as it slides right out there. And if you have any leftover as we see there, wow, that did a great job. That was only on medium too, the whole entire time. Let's go ahead and bang that out and take a closer look at that. Yeah, see, this is where you would grab your little brush and go ahead and just brush off that little area there. All right, so that is a huge clob of dust and debris, wow. I'm very impressed. That was again, two sessions, and that majority probably was swept up from the corners and underneath my furniture and probably dust that I can't even see on hardwood floors. So it's done a great job. I had it running on auto the whole time, but of course you have spot cleaning, edge cleaning and schedule cleaning that you can do in the app. All right, we've seen auto clean. Now we're in spot clean. And what spot's gonna do, you can actually view it on your app as well. But it'll go ahead and just start in kind of a smaller circle and then work its way around a little bit. As you see, it's gradually going around. So you have a certain spot, let's say where the dogs are, let's say where more stuff gets dropped or whatnot. See how it's coming out and about now here. And then if it goes around, hits that, it'll obviously not even sensing it here. 
will be with you. Let's see if it uh, brings it around even wider here as it started small and then works its way around. And it looks like it's keeping a nice little edge away from the arcade cabinet here. And it looks like this is as far as it's going, even working its way back into a smaller circle. Okay, that's very cool. And so it goes wide and then comes back into a narrow circle for spot cleaning wherever you want that in your home. Very cool. So here we are in edge cleaning and what it's gonna do, it's gonna work its way over to the walls and it will go ahead and just go around the walls of the rooms that it senses. It will cross over, but it's gonna stay on the walls here. As you can see here, it's gonna work its way to the edges, moving around the edges of your home and if you do have anything in the way like I do here, it's just gonna work around the edges as you can see here. So this is another feature of the robotic vacuum, auto, spot, and edge, as it rolls around here, coming around to the close, which I should have probably got out of the way, but very nice being able to go underneath the chairs, as we see here, being able to get the edges going under the chairs, fantastic feature. Now it's gonna go around the edge of the chair there. Very nice. I'm not sure how this would work with filming and using my phone to activate it, but it does have find the robot feature where the voice prompt will say, I am here. If it for some reason gets lodged underneath a couch or you just can't find your robotic vacuum. I'm gonna try to get that on film but I'm using my phone to film, so I don't know if I can do that with the app and film at the same time. So let's see if it repeats itself here. I heard it say, I am here one time. I'm not sure if it's gonna redo it again. Yeah, I think it only did it one time, and I couldn't catch that on film because I was way out there and I can't do it and film at the same time. But it says, I am here one time. And so you'll be able to find your robotic vacuum. All right, let's go ahead and look in the app here. As we can see here, it's mapped out and that's kind of the course that is taken there. You can rename it up there in the top right-hand corner. Anything that you particularly want to, name it. And you roll that up and you have auto, edge, spot, recharge, seek robot, manual control, Suction, that's where you would go into low, medium, or high. Right there, again, I had that on medium the whole time. And you hit more here, and this is actually a cool feature. So you have accessories lifetime. As you can see here, the rotating brush life, 77%. Side brush life, filter life. The rotating brush, I'll have to flip over the vacuum. It might be a little dusty. That's why it's gone down so quickly. But you just long press to reset. This is where you would do schedule for timers. Here we have records. Now in recordings, this says your timelines right here and you can mute it, you can break point continue. So I guess my house was dirtier than I thought here as we bring up this trap there and I'll have to clean this brush here. Wow, what do we suck up there? <laughs> that was a piece of wood there. Wow, that did a great job being able to suck that up. That wasn't supposed to uh, be on the ground, but I guess it was. So as you can see there, my house was pretty dirty. So I'll go ahead and clean this brush over the trash can and we'll go ahead and get this guy back up and running after that. Well guys, it does a great job. And again, that link is gonna be in the description box below where you can pick up your own robotic vacuum, learn more about it, read more about it, see what other people are saying about it. That link is gonna be in the description box below. Once again, it's doing a great job, but just like all my videos, guys, everything that I make a video about, please don't go into debt for anything that I do make a video about. But if it intrigues you and you have the cash, please go ahead and purchase on away. Subscribe and thumbs that up if it has given you an informed decision. We'll see you in the next video, guys. My name's Chris. Take care for now. Bye-bye. Don't let the party stop, guys. Hit one of these videos, continue to watch, and we'll see you soon.